friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, it is another grocery haul day. I'm so excited for today's video. If you love grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend taking advantage of that. That way you know exactly what you need to consume every day to reach your goals. And if you wanna chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So let's jump into this Saturday's grocery haul. But before we get started on our grocery haul, tell everyone you're doing good. Oh, you, you cozy buddy. So I was outside and hot. This thing we picked up off of Amazon has been a godsend from keeping him from licking. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you have a dog that licks his wounds or has surgery, I will link it down below for you. So the first thing I picked up were these absolutely stunning carnations. These are so pretty, this hot pink, light pink carnation. I'm going to put these on my kitchen table. Troy asked for Gatorade, so I picked up the zero sugar Gatorades. He's been taking these in his lunch just because it's so incredibly hot here. A loaf of bread for Troy's sandwiches. He's going to do tuna fish this next week. And then of course, we just like to have bread on hand for toast and sandwiches. I decided to pick up some Chobani flips. I've seen a couple of the beauty YouTubers that I watch having these as snacks in their videos and it just sounded really good. So I did grab the peanut butter dream and then two of the chewy churro. I've heard this one is the best. So I grabbed a few of those just to have on hand. Some pork loin for my lunch meal prep. I am so excited for my meal prep this next week. Stay tuned at the end of the video for what you'll be seeing on Monday in my meal prep. Light shredded cheese for a couple of dinner recipes and we just always have the Trader Joe's light shredded cheese on hand. It's the best. Trader Joe's fat free pizza sauce. This is one of my all time favorite pizza sauces. A can of fat free refried beans for a dinner recipe. The ones from Trader Joe's are my favorite. A couple of new drink finds from Trader Joe's. First is this organic cold brew green tea with lemon. 45 calories for this entire container of green tea. The reason it has calories is because it has a little bit of sugar, but I wanted to try this. I love green tea and love lemon in my tea. Also the organic sparkling green tea beverage. This is zero calories, so zero points. They had a couple of different ones. They had a yerba mate one. I didn't check that one out, but this one sounded really delicious. Sparkling tea, yes please. I asked if I would make his favorite pasta salad. I do have that recipe on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box. And in that salad, we use a whole one pound block of cheese. Also, I add in an entire pack of diced ham. New to me from Trader Joe's are these chicken spring rolls. I've never purchased these. They're 100 calories a piece, which I didn't think was bad at all. And I thought these would be so delicious tossed in the air fryer. Also a staple on hand are the Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's turkey corn dogs. I absolutely love these. Again, pop them in your air fryer. They're so crispy and delicious. It kind of feels like you're at the county fair. I did pick up three bottles of kombucha. I still have a few left over from my last Imperfect Foods order. So I grabbed two of the ginger aid and then one of the strawberry lemonade. Green juice for Troy. We don't need to talk about it. Troy asked for yogurt covered pretzels for his lunch. These ones at Trader Joe's are his all time favorite. He also wanted some corn chips. I have that really good spinach cake dip that I picked up last week at Trader Joe's and some hummus in the fridge so he wanted to have the chips to dip in both that dip and the hummus. Some almond meal. I needed this for my meal prep and I don't think I've honestly ever bought almond meal. I think this is different than almond flour so if you know the difference leave it down in the comments. This was pretty affordable. I think it was like $5.99 at Trader Joe's. These little mini French baguettes are our favorite. I don't know if these are seasonal or if they just come and go but they have not had them at Trader Joe's for a long time. Well, when I went today, they had them again. So I went ahead and picked up 
two packs. These are truly the size of a breadstick, but they're really good and they're only 100 calories. I add a little bit of butter and garlic salt absolutely delicious turkey pepperoni this is a for a dinner recipe this next week sharp cheddar cheese slices for sandwiches and we just always like to have cheese slices on hand some sweet relish for tori's pasta salad and i love sweet relish on burgers hot dogs a can of petite diced tomatoes for dinner two cans of cut green beans for the dogs they get green beans instead of table scraps whenever we have a meal a jar of roasted red bell peppers this is for a recipe and i really really like to put these in with scrambled eggs in wraps and these are also really really delicious on sandwiches and burgers so I went ahead and picked them up I went through the entire last jar that's how much I love them and a fire roasted to chilies for a dinner recipe a can of tuna for tuna sandwiches for Troy this next week I have I think three small cans from Thrive Market in my pantry so this should fill in the gaps for the entire week's worth of sandwiches. A can of sliced olives for Troy's pasta salad. I haven't bought these in a while, but he really likes these in his lunch. These are the Cascade Farms Vanilla Chip Chewy, Chewy Granola Bars. These are actually really, really delicious. Nice and clean ingredients for a granola bar. For a sweet treat for me this week, I grabbed some of the chocolate almond biscottis from Trader Joe's. I absolutely love these. They're 100 calories a piece, which is not bad, and they are big. The Biscotti takes up this entire package. Four pack of the vanilla Too Good yogurts. I've been loving yogurt. I ate all the ones I had on hand over the course of this last week. I'm decide I decided to try out my green thumb again or lack of a green thumb. If you missed my video where I shared that I had to buy mint because I actually killed my mint plant, I am hoping I can keep this beauty alive. I just think it's so pretty with the green and the white. So I'm going to repot this. Cross your fingers. I'll keep you guys updated in future videos on whether or not this beauty survives. A box of elbow macaroni. This is for the pasta salad. And lots of lean cuisines for Troy for early morning breakfast. So I have a lasagna, a mac and cheese, rigatoni, and a fettuccine with chicken and broccoli. And everything else is produce. So I picked up a bag of frozen corn for my lunch meal prep, a bag of organic limes for my water and also for a couple of recipes, green onions for salads as well as a dinner recipe, zucchini for a recipe, and then we also like to roast this up as a side dish with dinner. A bag of cabbage. This is for my lunch meal prep. Again, I can't wait to share what I'm doing at the end of this video with you guys. A bag of cilantro for meal prep. Some red radishes for Troy's pasta salad. A watermelon because it's summer and this is one of my favorite fruits during the summer. And last but not least, a big pack of strawberries for meal prep as well as for fruit for the week. So that is everything in this week's grocery haul. Let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners this week as well as what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. This is the week of July 17th through July 23rd. I still am absolutely amazed how fast the month of July has went. If you think it flew by, let me know down in the comments. But today, Saturday, we are doing out for dinner. Troy wants pizza, so I don't know if we'll do frozen pizza or Papa Murphy's, but we are going to have pizza. Tomorrow, Sunday, is baked chicken tacos. You guys will see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned. Monday, I'm going to do herb balsamic chicken. This is an RO or a rollover from last week, a recipe that I didn't actually get to make because I was, I was filming another type of dinner's video for you guys. Tuesday is leftover night. Wednesday, we're doing pizza in a bowl. I'm pretty excited for this. Thursday, I'm gonna do little miniature meatloaves. I might throw that in with some potatoes and some veggie. And then Friday, we always have leftovers to eat up anything leftover from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I am seriously so excited for these recipes. For breakfast, I'm making corn meal muffins with roasted red peppers and feta cheese. That sounds amazing. For lunch, I'm really excited for this. I'm doing a pulled pork bowl with avocado slaw. So Troy's not the biggest fan of pork, and I like pork, so I like to incorporate it into meal prep, something that I'm going to eat all week, so I can't wait for that. And then I'm doing a strawberry oatmeal bar. It's all summer vibes. Troy actually is excited for this. So those are the three recipes you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another WW Grocery Haul. I hope you got a little bit of food, idea, inspiration from today's 
Kitchen's grocery haul. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group are down in the description box. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye!